Hi folks, this is Mentor Mike Bridges and this is a special how-to video to show you how to log in uh, to the Pacific Trading website and then navigate to the trading room and the course room. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is probably set up a special Ninja Trader workspace and I have set one up which I have labeled chart trader. You're going to want to watch my charts and my dome screen primarily but at the same time you want to be able to take your own trades and I would really recommend to all of you that you spend at least one day in the room experimenting with how things look and what you think is the most efficient and uh, aesthetically pleasing uh, setup before you uh, worry about taking any real money trades. But in any event, I have created this uh, chart trader workspace. And as you can see, in addition to the uh, ever present control center screen, there's just a single chart. Uh, and I have opened and turned on the chart trader function. Now, originally I thought that perhaps all you'd need was the dome screen. But then I realized that in order to move stops, we typically drag and drop them on the chart itself. So uh, this kind of uh, fulfills our needs here. Um, down here, you can select your ATM strategy, just like you can on the dome. So that's good. And then here, we're going to be primarily using the buy market and the sell market buttons up here. And then, of course, when we're in a trade, the little pennants appear on the chart, and we can then drag and drop them. Uh, from here. Now here's an important aspect. You want to open the utility menu by right clicking on the chart and you're going to want to check this selection here always on top. That will uh, bring the chart in front of uh, any of the uh, viewing screens that you're using uh, to watch my uh, my chart and dome etc. So that's the first thing you want to do is get this set up and then minimize it down to your taskbar. You're probably going to not need the control center screen, but it's open when the program is. Now, once you've got that set up, the next thing is how to log in to the Pacific Trading website. So here we go. You open that up. And what you're going to do is you're going to hover your mouse over this members menu here, and you're going to see login. So click on login. That takes you to this page, and you'll come over here and enter your username and password and hit login again. And that takes you to your membership information page uh, and shows you the subscriptions that you signed up for. Now, your expiration date will be uh, further out depending on what you've signed up for. This is just so that I can show you this. Uh, uh, example of what you're going to see. Now, once you're signed into this page, you're going to come back to the members menu again, hover over it, and now you've got choices based on whatever you've signed up for. And in this case, we're going to go to join Mike Bridges Trading Room. Click on that. We go to this page where there's a little brief introduction of what the trading room is about, and then you're going to click on the red letters down here. Please click here to join the live trading room. Now, when you click on that, you're actually going to be transferred to the Omnovia website. Omnovia is a webinar type provider that is used by all the major trading rooms that we investigated. Ninja Trader also uses it for their webinars. So they seem to be the top of the line and also one of the most user friendly. Uh, of the webinar type providers. So you'll get to this page and you'll say welcome to the Pacific Trading Academy Conference Center and you're going to click here to enter the room. And it'll take a little bit of time to load up. And what you're seeing there is a portion of my charts on another computer. What I've done is I have logged in as a presenter on my other computer and I'm using the computer you're watching to log in as an attendee. So 
this computer is seeing exactly what you would see uh, when you log into the trading room. Now, obviously, you can't see the whole chart, so here's what you want to probably do. Um, first of all, come up here to the upper right and maximize the web conference window. Now, um, you still can't see all my chart, so here's what you do here. Come to the to the toolbar here, and you can see we've got three icons. There's this one that looks like the gear wheel, which is projection settings. That's that's one really on my side. What this does is it fits to screen. So if you click on that, now you can see my in, <clears throat> entire screen, all of my um, uh, workspace on the other computer. <clears throat> now, if you want, you can close this panel over here. Uh, the participants, you probably don't really need to deal with. Uh, this is going to be the chat room. When you have something you want to say, you will type it in here at the bottom, and then all you have to do is hit enter. I'll say hello, and hit enter, and there it is. And so um, what you can do there is, if you put your mouse here, you can, you can make that part larger. Like I say, you don't really need to look at the participants unless you want to. So now you have your uh, chat area larger and more visible. And if you want to move it out of the way completely, all you have to do is click on this little um, arrow here. It says um, click to collapse side. And now you can see the whole chart, but you've got this sort of border around it here. Now, if you click this icon, full screen, you'll get full screen. And notice it says press escape to exit full screen mode. Now you can really see well what's going on on the presenter's computer. The problem is is that you can't get to your own um, ninja from here because probably your taskbar has been covered up. So here's what you might want to do. Hit the escape key to get back to this mode. Then come down to your own taskbar and open your your chart and then go to full screen and your chart will still be here. Now remember with the chart you can shrink it or expand it however you want. Now if you're going to be watching my charts anyway um, you don't really need to see that much of your charts. You just need to be able to uh, move your stops when you need to. And once you've entered the trade you can collapse the chart trader and now you can just uh, you'll just be able to see the penance on your screen that will allow you to drag and drop your stop and all that. And so you can put this wherever it seems appropriate and you can shrink to fit. Now, you're going to have to experiment with where to put it, on which side, in which corner, etc., etc., and how much space you're going to need to be able to drag and drop your stops. Now, the other thing you need to remember is if you um, if you just want to see the upper part where your stops are, you can do this. Put your mouse on the border of your chart and right click, and you can maximize that area. So you don't need you, you won't need to see uh, the MACD and the stochastic on your charts because you're going to be watching them on mine. So now you're just going to have the um, price scale where your where the pennants from your trades are and that's really all you need to do so you'll be able to watch the action on the big charts and you'll be able to uh, move your your stop manually uh, from your own little uh, control center here so that's probably the best way to do it and then if you want to get rid of this temporarily you can just minimize it but again now you can't see it again so all you gotta do remember is hit the escape key which is typically in your upper left hand corner and now uh, you're back to this mode and you can come back and bring your uh, your chart back whenever you need to okay and then when all is said and done and we're done with the day session um, all you got to do is come up here and click uh, the red X to close your web conference window. Are you sure you want to leave this page? Yes, we do. And now 
you're back to the Pacific Trading Academy website and um, come to your members menu once again and if you're signed up for the full course you can then go to the education room and you'll go through the same process of, of logging in there. Now there you won't have to deal with any um, uh, you know screen of your own because it's just going to be a recap and you just need to watch uh, what I'm doing and, and type in your questions and all that sort of thing. So again it's probably going to take a day to kind of get used to um, the protocols and what's going to work best in terms of where to put things but I think we'll get past all that very quickly and it'll work very efficiently. Now here's something that you do need to be aware of. Omnovia is the top of the line uh, webinar service. Uh, all the other trading rooms seem to be using them and uh, nevertheless there can be a bit of a time delay from what I do and from what you see on your screen or hear through your speakers. Now that's a function of your own internet speed. My internet speed is as, as high as I can get it in my uh, AT&T area. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm at 18 um, megabytes per second which is pretty darn high. Uh, most uh, high-speed internet uh, starts at about three megabytes per second. So um, if you find that the delay is um, uh, more than maybe a second or two, um, what you might want to look into is um, getting a, a, a higher level of internet speed from your own internet provider. Now, um, in the case of AT&T, which is what I have, um, the first level of high speed, which is the three megabytes per second, was about 40 bucks a month. Um, to get the top of the line is about 25 bucks a month more. So it's not outrageous. Um, and, but you might find that to be helpful. Now, as far as the delay, I don't really think it's going to be um, the, all that critical because for a long time I have been trading two computers. I have my uh, personal um, live account and then I have the computer uh, from which I do my uh, Mentor Mike Market movies and everything. And the two uh, mouse controllers that I use to enter my trades are about two feet apart on my desktop. So typically there's about uh, a one to two second delay between me entering the trade on one computer and entering the trade on the other computer. And I would say that about 90% of the time I get exactly the same fill on both computers. Occasionally one computer will be one tick off from the other. But it doesn't have to do with which is first. Um, I've experimented with clicking one first and then the other and it just kind of depends on how the market is moving. Um, sometimes the first computer that I click gets the better fill, sometimes the second computer that I click gets the better fill. So um, it's hard to say. So I don't really think the delay is going to be a critical element here, but you need to be aware of it. And you can minimize it by upping your internet speed. So that's something to be concerned about. All right. Now, I recommend that at least your first day, maybe your, maybe your first couple of days, uh, is spent experimenting with um, the login procedures and getting everything lined up. Now, let me show you one other thing here. I'm going to pause the video to. All right, I have logged back in to the trading room and I'm using the uh, fit to screen <clears throat> function here. And I have collapsed the chart area. And over on the other computer, I'm going to turn on um, my chat area so you can see what that looks like. So I have turned on <clears throat> my chat area on the other computer and for convenience sake I have mine over on the right hand side of my screen and as you can see you can tell that I have it open but it's clear. It doesn't obstruct your view of the chart. So um, that's if you ever see what you know something like that you'll know what's going on. Alright, that's basically all I have to tell you here. 
Um, if this seems a little disjointed, it's because I'm doing it early in the morning on a Sunday. But uh, hopefully this will give you what you need to know to get rolling here. And um, we're going to have fun. We're going to make money. And I'll see you in the room.